welcome back to our YouTube channel. So first, I would like to sincerely apologize for taking so long to upload um, the YouTube video since the last uh, YouTube video that I post. Uh, it was like four months ago. And there are a couple reasons for this delay. The first reason is that we was uh, very involved with um, extensive traveling. We at the end of February we traveled to Australia and New Zealand for a month, and uh, we come back uh, the end of March. And then we have to do the closing for a condo that we purchased. Uh, we put the down payment uh, before we travel to Australia, New Zealand, uh, which is um, around the end of February. And then we come back a month after, and then we put the do done, done the closing, and then moving from our apartment onto this new condo, and then. Ten days later, we travel again for an, almost another month to uh, all the countries um, around the Red Sea, like Saudi, Egypt, Jordan, and then we went to Montenegro, and then we travel to uh, Greece and then uh, Venice uh, in Italy, uh, and we come back to the Nang He in May. Uh, so now I'm here in Danang and uh, it's summertime now and it's about 5 p.m. I think it's on Sunday and you could see how busy it is at the ocean. There's so many activities going on in Danang and I could not wait to <coughs> share with you um, all the activities taking place in Danang also. And I also to apologize for my voice. Uh, I'm a little bit under the weather. So after we come back in Da Nang at the beginning of May or the first week of May, we was constantly busy with the renovation of our condo. And the topic of uh, the video today, of this first video today, so there are two videos for this uh, topic is about the condo. You know, we purchased the condo and would show you, um, well, I did not recording the the video of the condo before we did the renovation. I apologize. We were so busy when you know, travel plane and also closing and moving. I didn't have that chance. But I record the video based on the picture that the agent sent me. So the quality is not that great. I apologize for that. Uh, so I'm going to show you the condo that we purchased before, and then I will show you the condo after uh, the renovation okay uh, and then I will do a follow-up video probably a week or two weeks later actually probably two weeks later because tomorrow we travel to Saigon to see some of my friends for almost a week and then I come back and then I will um, uh, do the follow-up video talk about the price and our experience of purchasing condo here in Da Nang, Vietnam and also our experience of you know the renovation process here in Vietnam too okay so I want to set you up a little bit um, about the condo that we purchased uh, one of the reasons we purchased the condo is that because we like the floor plan uh, so they have four models in our building uh, it's the same building that we rent if you have not watched the video about the renting video internet please watch it uh, because it's the same building that we purchased uh, the condo okay uh, so you can see the similarity and I like this condo because of the kitchen uh, the open kitchen concept uh, and I will talk you more about that when we show you the video okay so now here is the condo that we purchased that is before the renovation and this is the view from the balcony looking in and you see that the door that the entry door right there and uh, for this condo right here is an upgraded uh, uh, version so when they sell the condos uh, there are two kind one is the standard and the other one is the upgrade and what you get for the upgrade is that um, you got the entertainment unit uh, the 
wallpaper uh, in the living room and also the uh, the oven installed in the kitchen and also the very fancy uh, lock is that you know the stand they have the key this one is um, they have the like small remote uh, key you just press the button and then it's open and close for you okay and I will show you that in a little bit so one of the reasons I purchased this condo because the the, the open kitchen concept right here uh, uh, so for the f uh, they have four models and this model only here um, the all night they call the all night model um, that is the the room so there are 12 rooms but the old night model that's the only one that had the kitchen concept and the rest of them had the galley kitchen which you seen in my uh, uh my renting uh video uh about this apartment on this condo all right so some of the the okay here's the view of the balcony okay and i want you to pay attention at the floor of that balcony okay and uh, also that um, some of the furniture okay so here is the guest room okay and the the color is very white so they did not paint anything it's original color and we get rid of the bed here uh, you will see um, you know the renovation what we've done it's very wide they did not paint anything they have some pictures you know show the fruit and the flower I don't think it's the right location to put in the bedroom so I move it to the kitchen you will see them sorry for this is very the, the powder room the very bad picture but you see the very little thing at the bottom is so small Phil does not like it and we upgrade it and we'll show you later and this is, is the bathroom for the guests and you see the white shell right there a little bit small we also upgrade it change it uh, during that renovation you will see them uh, let's see um, and also that's uh, so here is the master of the primary room and um, you see the walls also are very white and that is the dressing table I guess uh, and the bed here we moved this uh, the bed frame not the bed uh, and the dressing table to the guest room and you will see that and that is the closet and uh, this we did some also upgrade to of the closet the shell on the left and the bottom and okay and now let's go to the the next uh, segment of the video you will see it the renovation okay so that is the video of this uh, before renovation here is the ensuite uh, bathroom very bare inside not much going on okay so now let's go to the renovation before that here I'm going to show you I'm in the hallway right now so right now you're looking at east okay and that's the elevator so there is six room on each uh, wing uh, so that is the east and the one behind me is the looking west so there are three rooms on each side three facing north and three facing south so there's six room and they three model that they, they mirror image it in each other but for that that's but on the east uh, side right here they're not mirror image so they have four models on this side and the one um, on this uh, room that we have right here actually that's the one with the they're not mirror which anything they have the open uh, kitchen concept and you see that uh, lock ready right I just press it I don't have to use any key and I just open and unlock it for me all right here it is the renovation of our apartment so I guess the focal point of the room here is the the balconies I will show you a little bit later but first on the left side when you open the door is the closet they have a very big closet uh, for shoe shoe closet so the original I mean the other model they have um, they only have one shell they don't have double size shell for shoe closet like this so it's very good okay, I remember when I rented uh, upstairs 26th floor the 24th floor by the way and we facing south they only have uh, one and i had to put some of my shoe in my closet all right so here is the powder room um 
a lot of the decoration uh, in our apartment, you know, we flag a lot of, you know, when we travel. And here's the new thing. It's three times bigger than the one that they have. So the first renovation we did for Phil here is that we placed this thing. It's much bigger to wash his hand. Okay, and the decoration here for the powder room is that the papyrus paper that we recently went to um, Egypt at the Red Sea countries and we bought. So the brown is very expensive, the brown paper papyrus, and the white one is a little bit cheaper. We bought both of them, I think about $60, and we brought it back here in Vietnam and we had them framed. Both of them bought $6. US okay. So now let's go to, uh, here is the view. When you come in, that is the view. And you see some of the, the difference that, uh, hopefully we'll see some improvement or, or difference. Um, so let's go to the balcony. So this is facing south, okay? So the, the one that we rent of this same building here on the 26th floor, uh, we face the north, so we have a different view. So this one facing south. It's more sun here. It's harder, but it's uh, it less quiet uh, too. And you see, um, you know, the blue ocean here because there's not a lot of high-rise or hotel building in this. Uh, when you're facing salad and the north, it's much more uh, high-rise building. So we cannot see the ocean because they're blocking you know, the view. Yeah. So we see Charm Island right there. It's about 45 minute boat ride to get there. And people could spend a day, a couple of days over there. It's just it's very, uh, I'm going to say untouched, but it's not very well developed island yet. But it's very be beautiful over there in the future. We will go there and we we'll take a picture, a video to show you. And you're looking right now is the Marble Mountains. It's a very iconic, you know, very attractive uh, tourist site of Tanang, beautiful marble mountain, a lot of marble over there, a lot of, you know, products, you know, for marble, it's also make and selling in that marble mountain, and it's the famous uh, bridge, the cable bridge, and I did the video about that, that's also where they, the, the fireworks during the Lunar New Year taking place right here. So if we were staying on this side, we could see the firework from this um, balcony here. And that is the Han River. Okay. At night time is very beautiful. You see the river cruise go through. Okay. And there's some big mountain on that side. Okay. Um... Yeah, so if you have not watched, um, you know, a renting video of this building, please watch it and you see the different view. So this building, once again, it is uh, it took like it take the whole block of the the of the city. So they have four streets, and the street that facing south is a smaller street, so it's very very quiet compared to the major street that facing north. You could hear the honking, the traffic, and also the um, the noise and the karaoke at night time too, okay? And uh, in the future, I, sh I will show you the neighborhood, you know, um, around our building uh, again so you can see. So there's a lot of busy and coffee shop right there on that little street that facing south uh, from the building. Okay, and on the north side, you will see, you know, the Dragon Bridge. Yeah, uh, so please go back and see uh, the renting video, and you could see um, the different view. Okay, we don't mind this view, the view on the north side, much uh, dramatic, I think, with the Monkey Mountain and the Dragon Bridge. And that is it. All right, so you can see the floor in the balcony that we have an upgrade with synthetic wood, it's very nice and upscale. Uh, it's also very easy to clean. I create a pattern and everything like that. By the way, all the design that you see in this building, I design everything by myself. I get high people to do it. They like how I want it and what I want it. Okay. And some of the furniture here, I, I we try to utilize them to keep them. Some we throw away. Some we say, okay, this is a good quality. Even though it's not really a hundred percent of our aesthetic, but we keep it because we like it. Okay. 
So hit the nice thing. I mean the entertainment um, that come with the unit is an upgrade version, and the owner left the TV there for us. Uh, let's go back some of the thing that we have on the shelf here. So on the top, you see the three metal figurine that we got from Greeks. And this one over here recently we just bought in Jordan is the natural scene or from Jordan. And it cost it made and put few and that name in there. And that's the scene, um, uh, what is that stone? And this one right here is the class work from Murano in Venice. We was there. And that little uh, infinities a stone I bought in Canada but actually come from Africa <laughs> and the J right here some of them I bought in the small one I think I bought in Australia and the big one standing I bought them in uh, New Zealand and this opal stone right here is I bought in Australia I like not I like the raw opal I don't like the, you know like jewelry opal or J and that the one that you just saw right there that was the uh, at the bottom that was the candle holder I bought in Mykonos okay and here's uh, another uh, <coughs> feature for an upgraded uh, uh, condo when they sell this condo is the that's a wallpaper it's very unique I never seen that kind of wallpaper before it's very clean simple but it's very unique okay and we bought the artwork there so original the owner had the part work artwork that we not care for and we put in the guest room uh, so that's a lotus flower if for people don't know the lotus flowers is the na the national flower of vietnam okay and we keep the sofa it's very comfy it's not very modern but it's very good quality the sale agent told that she spent like more than two thousand US dollar for that couch, so we decided to keep it and feel like a comfy. So it's okay. It's not very modern like we wanted, and also the same thing with the coffee table. All right, so you see the shell right there. That's an Al Baloney. It's very signature, popular souvenir item in Australia, and New Zealand. Okay, and sorry about the book. I have very nice collectible uh, book, but I left in the US, so I did not bring bring it here so <laughs> I had that little cheap book looking on my coffee table for now and here I want to mention very quick about the orchid that you know around our apartment or condo <coughs> the orchid when I purchased you know sometimes I like it uh, I went to the most you know like popular place that they say the orchid but then I like the orchid there, but they don't have the nice uh, planter at the bottom. So I had to go to a different place, you know, to replace them. So the process of renovation, it takes so long because I'm so, you know, so detailed about stuff like that. And those paintings that you saw, it used to be in the guest room. And you can see right now there are flowers and fruit. And it's all hand painting. It's the watercolor uh, art. And I love it. If you don't care for that. Phil, he loves more abstract art. I love more realistic art. Uh, so I could put it in the kitchen area. I think it's a more appropriate location. And here is the soap dispenser. Uh, it's, it's hand painting. Uh, I think it's very upscale when you have some hand painting, uh, you know, like soap dispenser like that instead of uh, the plastic bottle. You know, it looks very cheap. And also, the upgrade process in the kitchen here, we took all the door down. We had them paint on the inside because the inside look a little bit. They have stains, some kind of yellow, brown, brownish stain. So we paint them really nice and white, and it match and it clean the, like the outside. Okay. And another feature that we upgrade in the kitchen it was the faucet. Yeah, they used to have a stationary or fixed. It doesn't. It doesn't have the string like that pull it out. And I, it drive me crazy. I'm washing the dishes. So I'm very happy that I replaced that with the, you know the. The pull it out, I could spray and things like that. That's awesome. Uh, clean, keep it clean. And also, I have installed the new water filter system. We no longer purchase, you know, the big five gallon um, or liter water, uh, you know, plastic bottle. So we get in filter, we enjoy it and it tastes great and very healthy.
All right, there's a lot of cabinets uh, here uh, in this kitchen too. So I love the open concept kitchen here so much. That is one of the reasons we part we purchased this condo. I mean this unit. All right, so Phil and I we eating lunch here and dinner here, and we enjoying the view during the day during the daytime. time. It's beautiful. Look at the balcony, and you see the two uh, lamps that I bought for the dining table or the island. It actually custom made, and it was in Hoi An, which is about 40-45 minute drive from uh, Da Nang. And they don't sell this uh, in in Da Nang. I have to go up there. Well, he used to have a location uh, in Da Nang, but he said it's too small. Uh, so we went there and we had a custom made there. All right, you see, I love uh, you know things that tuck away not display I like clean and simple I don't think tucks away and you can see I, we put the microwave and the oven those the microwave belong left from the the previous owner and uh, the oven we bought for the apartment upstairs and I still use it because I think that it's faster to heat up thing because the the oven come with the the unit installed in the kitchen I think it's taking a little bit longer I have not used it yet Alright, but I, I think Phil said it take a little bit longer to hit up like 5-10 minutes instead of like 1 or 2 minutes with the oven that we bought. Okay, so that is the view, that is the island we put it in, of course. Uh, remember they had the uh, the table, they left it there. Alright, now let's go to the guest room. Alright, so remember it's very white uh, wall and we paint it to a lilac, uh, you know color and the furniture the bed that we, we that it used to be in the primary room and we moved to guest room right here and the art on top of the bed used to be in the living room above the couch now we put in here once again you know Phil doesn't care for this kind of art but I say no it's fine it's a uh, oil paint canvas uh, oil paint it's all all the art here I don't like art that are printing, I like art that hand paint, and they all hand painting. And that's why I like it. And when the when I look at the art, I know I'm putting here, so I decide to paint the the room here is a lilac color. Okay, and here's the closet, very similar to the one in the guest room. And you see right there, the upgrade. I put the shelf on the left side. They used to have no shelf but then separate shelves that more storage for us the closet in vietnam is not big compared to the u.s okay and uh, they also have two nice tall window uh floor to ceiling had nice beautiful view and the guest room here and this unit another feature i really like because it's bigger it's bigger compared to the other uh, guest room unit meaning that you know i could put the um, the desk right there okay the other unit you cannot put the desk in there it's very tiny uh, in the future I'm going to buy it, uh, I mean I ordered already the little nice thing on the other side and this is on this side and if you remember all the orchid I have here and each one had different color so this one they had like purple violet color and I think it's appropriate to bring the guests and once here again is the view you know beautiful blue water ocean you could only could see from the south if you're looking south uh, from this building if you're looking north you can see that and the reason again because there's so many high rise along the beach um, on the north side so they block all the water okay and that's a charm island again okay in the future we will take a trip over there and we we'll show you the view of the charm island it's about 40, 45 minutes boat right okay and that's a marble mountain again and that is the view from the guest room okay Uh, in the future, I'm going to what well, the next video when I do the follow-up, you know, I'm talking about the price and the experience, you know, I will do at night time, okay? From the condo, you can see the view at night time too, okay? And uh, one of the things I like it too is that I don't like things cluster, so a lot of the land I have is hanging down from the ceiling. They have a, uh, the night stand lamp, but it's just so bulky on the night stand, I get rid of the black one, so I have the new... 
I don't know, it's a crystal, not, but it's very fancy, very upscale. And I have a hanging there, so I look more, you know, clean and... The feeling in this room is very relaxing. It's very relaxing and cozy, okay? And I really love the furniture of the, the bed too. I don't know what material, it was very sturdy uh, wood, okay? And right there, that little uh, desk right there, they cannot fit with other room, but this guest room is bigger. And you could fit the bed and the, the desk right there. And the two artwork, the artwork it used to be on top of the TV and we put it in here. Alright, so right next to the guest room is the guest bathroom, okay? Um, and you remember that uh, when they have the white shell, I make it, I upgrade it and I have to make it larger, okay? Larger, I remove all the shell at the bottom, I just had one tall shell, so I could hide all my vacuum cleaner and things like that. And on top, I put a little bit of uh, detergent, shell for the detergent, on the other side, Put up uh, this uh, cabinet also, uh, so I could put all my laundries in there. So once again, I like to think that high and tuck away. I don't like to show, you know, my clothes and things like that. Okay, so that's why I create that thing. So we don't have any guests in here yet uh, for this new condo, but things really banned here, so I just put some of the shampoo shell and those very expensive because it's a uh, stainless uh, stainless uh, steel okay so they have a decent size of sink here and I put by the mop I put on top of the wash and dry combo and I put some dry flour in here the lavender smells so good it's a small daisy it's not dry flour but it's, it's beautiful I don't have enough sun in here, so I cannot have real flower in there. It might die so fast. People know me, I love plant and flower. I have every corner. You can see right there. Alright, I see it once again. The open kitchen concept with the marble. The island I put it on here is at the, the dining table. And you can see. And I bought the rug. It's the Turkish rush. I think the rug, it makes it so much different uh, in the living room okay so here's the view again of our open concept kitchen look into the living room and the balcony and once again floor to ceiling uh, a window and here is our primary room all right and you remember it used to be so white and now I have the whole a wood slab against the wall. You know, I want something that, um, you know, instead of like, um, what is it called? The bed frame, whatever. I can make it the whole thing in wood. And I have to put it in for fill. He must have the USB. But it's nice thing. And once again, you see that, um, you know, I want things close on the nice thing. I have all the lamp hanging down from the ceiling. And then I have all the nice thing custom made, and I have the wood, and also the white because uh, we have a lot of white cabinet in the house already for the kitchen and you know in the bathroom. So I want to, you know, kind of blend them a little bit together. And I also bought that rug right there for the bed. I think the rug make it a big statement. It's a nice statement uh, for the the bedroom also. All right. Uh, here is the view of the from the guest room. Okay, you see again the marble mountain and the ocean, the blue water ocean. Today it's not very clear sky. It's a little bit cloudy, but uh, the clear sky you see the water is so beautiful. You could see the mountain so beautiful. You could see Hoi An uh, from our balcony also. Okay, and uh, my poor little orchid did not do well after two months of uh, traveling. It used to be had the yellow flower, and it's just so beautiful in this room. 
and the color of this group is hard to see here but actually it's the frosted green it's a little bit green and the green and the wood you know i love to have that japanese influence design when i design um, a renovation our apartment um so i have a lot of wood and brown and i think the little um, light green or the frosted green that's what they call and i think it'll go well together and that is the hoi end picture uh, for my little desk area here and now is the ensuite uh, guest room here all right so another feature i like it so much here of the ensuite uh, bathroom i mean um it they have the it's bigger too and they little extra shell next to the sink the other model they don't have the smaller they don't have that uh extra space uh for the shell so whatever we need like toothbrush or something like you know the ordering you know we put underneath uh the sink and you have to bend down a lot uh to yeah i think it's crazy but we're really happy about this feature too so we bought the anti-fog uh mirror in the shower and then i also put you know the two uh container for my personal stuff and once again i put some artwork in here uh once again it's hand painted oil canvas and also has some dry flowers uh, in the bathroom too okay okay all right, I really love the extra space for the shell uh, for the ensuite bathroom. That's another feature, it's a plus feature to have because it's the, the ensuite bathroom here is bigger compared to other model. All right, in the next video, I will tell you tell you again about you know the reason that I like. So here's again is the after renovation uh, of our primary bedroom. Okay. I love the door to ceiling uh, um, window of, of every single room here. So if you have a lot of natural light, a lot of bright light here. Okay. So one again, here is the view of overall of our wide open kitchen concept. That's only this model have. The rest of the other model have the galley kitchen. And then here is our living room, the balcony, and you see the uh, the each unit have a uh, AC on top, and the AC is really great. It has three function. I mean, beside a functional AC, it's also has a fan function. Sometimes you don't want to, you know, like oh, you you feel a little bit hot, you could turn on the fan as the AC. And another function is that it's not just an AC and a fan; it's also a filter filter uh, the air too all right now i'm going back to the balcony and uh, what, what i was point over there is in the future i will have you know a like uh, i don't know a, a lotus pond or koi fish or some kind of fish over there in the corner uh, but i will tell you what i have decided to do with that in the future i feel like i need some water feature over there and also i'm going to have uh, a white cooler installed in there I only want to do that but have a custom made and that time I did not want to I need the island so bad so we can eat and so I have the island done first and in the future I will have uh, uh, the white cooler installed what I pointed right there we, uh, I just call our electric elect, uh, electric technician to have to put an outlet and he said he's going to put the outlet from the guest room down outside to the balcony so i could have some kind of water fountain or water future a feature in our balcony i need some water thing outside a little bit it's beautiful but it's dry so here's the view again all right well thank you so much i know the video is long thank you so much for watching um the next video uh, i'm going to talk about you know the price the experience of purchase condo in vietnam and also our experience of renovation here uh, i'm almost done with the renovation about 95 percent only a few more things and hopefully with the next video some of the items will be complete but thank you so much for watching and i apologize for this delay of the video 
uh, I have missed you. We miss you. I hope you miss me too. All right, take care. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.